Greetings and hello once again. This here is the ancient spirit, Tralaka. Well, <laughs> at least here in spirit to explain more. Let's go on to video 53. The main base of the Alliance Warriors was bristling with movement as rows and rows of their very prized battle cruisers were receiving the maximum amount of supplies that the very new and secretive twin Q drive power plants within them that each had a quad mount restraining mounting system uh, they were be, you know, beam surrounding that had inner walls of them to hold the giant multi-dimensional clamps which was then superimposed to the captive black hole within. And the push or pull is what gave them the intense power that these special design battle cruisers were built for in order to be able to utilize that type of a power plant because the older class battle cruisers tend to shake apart a bit because of too much power. It was rumored that a few of the battle cruiser captains had their own smaller class cruisers for their own uses with these power plants. Now, the battle cruiser were by far the fastest ships for battle, par none of any ship anywhere that was known. They had also multi layered, very heavy shielding with energy cushions in between the platings and heavy, heavy battle shield energy field also all around the outside. With two rows of main deck 450 millimeter laser cannons in six groupings and 20 200 millimeter laser cannons in different parts all around the outside in uh, hidden ports. These were designed, all of this, for one purpose, for one purpose, to correct evil intentions, which disharmony in mind, after all the diplomatic methods and means have failed. Even for a few other ships to show up many times, convince certain criminals' agenda to have second ideas on what they were doing and surrender and take their chance in court than up against fully loaded Alliance battle uh, cruisers and much m needless to say the warriors within whom are trained every day of the week for near for nearly every week of the cycle year they are of different species who can fight on one on one for many many days without strain on their body and just like that Tracera council leader Gunasem each had a sword made specifically for each trained warriors inner spirit and its energy signature which is unique upon the individual for as hard as they train for combat, they also train for diplomatic solutions to end a battle, to keep from having, to give, though on the average, the warriors were uh, nine feet tall, though there was a couple ships whose warriors stood at just underneath a 12 foot uh, height. Yet the harmony between the warriors were the same above their heads while they loaded their ships and checked everything appeared as it moved to to the ground everything everything they checked a small battle cruiser like their own but also with the tracera symbol on its side flew overhead followed by a s similar ships with the same cargo and two hospital ships parking on the far end of the landing field. Now, the Alliance warriors were readying for a big war. This is here 
all coming together at the Alliance Warrior base on a small planet. Okay, there were just so many warriors showing up, a gathering like no other in the history of the Alliance, as the reports of, as I said, Alliance partners even sending their own older and not well-maintained cargo ships with additional ground warrior supplies to designated areas. And a surprise, a surprise of retired Allegiance warriors showing up in huge numbers and over in a grassy area practicing their sword and body movements and maneuvers as they also practiced with their photon blaster. Though the size was that of a double-sized shotgun and it was quite deadly in its accuracy, yet was very quiet. While some more ships were still receiving supplies, a captain spoke as he checked his own armor to a commander standing near. <laughs> Those warriors haven't seen a battle in over 30 cycles. As the captain shook his head, the commander turned his head slowly and spoke loudly back. I trained with them, and the Tercera leader, Gunnaseb, is entrusting his very own battle cruiser to them. While he glared at that outspoken captain, as the captain was looking around for words and then said in a very low tone, Yes, sir. And he quickly went back to his ship in very short order. Meanwhile, running up from one of those battle cruisers to the already assembled in a grassy area, the other battle cruisers' captains who had been there already for some time. Ha 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 ha! Hey, it's so nice of you to join us. One of the captains spoke up from within the group. The approaching, running up to the group of the Alliance warriors was Trelaka, a nine-foot trim and fit with very long flowing white hair shimmering in the sunlight as he stopped uh, abruptly in front of them. A, a different captain spoke as they warrior armed embraced. I hear you made Lord in rank. <laughs> as, the, as all the captains started to laugh, and Trelock replies, Hey, I'm glad to be back with my longtime friends. And hey, well, this is what happens when you care too much. They slap a Lord title on you and expect you to get the same results you did at just that one time a perfect diplomacy <laughs> who would know <laughs> a captain called out in a teasing manner hey Trahaka you sure you're up to this you're missing a ship should we all count them together to help you count them everyone in Trahaka were now laughing in Trahaka replied while clearing tears from his eyes from the laughing. Hey, hey, go! You know I am the oldest only by one cycle from the rest of you whom train we all together. Yeah, but you're still missing a ship, Trelaka. <laughs> a younger battle cruiser captain called out as she adjusted her long, flowing, multicolored red hair. Also seems <laughs> to be your personal smaller battle cruiser, she replies. Hmm. Who would think? Trelaka sighed and replied, You know that. I know that. Okay, fine. The first officer has it out for final testing of one of his ideas of this newly aligned uh, aligning deal with these Q these twin Q drives. <laughs> please, 
please, man. What are we like in the first grade here? Come on, give me a break. <sighs> Everybody was laughing. Then everyone stood quickly at attention as the head alliance warrior commander walked up to them. At ease, everyone. Tralaka, do you have the papers? Uh, yes, sir, Tralaka replied, handing over a box and a, a screen read electronic tablet, then swiftly going back to position with the others. The commander looked and then tapped the screen a few times, pausing and adjusting it for a minute, and then looking back at the even now larger group of battlecruiser captains. Now, this here is the ancient spirit, Trelaka. As always, journey safe, journey to many places, explore, witness, and grow in your brilliance and of your knowing. This is the ancient spirit, Trelaka. Good night.